But let's check out how to make this vintage badge here in Illustrator. Step one, I'm gonna swap it from fill to stroke. I'm gonna select the black color right now. And I'm gonna go and select the polygon tool, press and hold shift plus alt. Create a hexagon, press and hold shift and rotate it. Select the direct selection tool and I'm gonna pull from these little circles. So I'm gonna make the edges around it. From here, I'm gonna go to the object, path, offset path. And in my situation, I'm gonna offset with 10, click OK. And I'm gonna select the interior again, go to object, path, and we're gonna offset again. And this time I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna offset with minus three. Click OK. And then I'm gonna select the rectangle and create the space for the text. So I'm gonna go where's this anchor point and create a rectangle. I also gonna make it rounded. I'm gonna also make it a little bit bigger like this. And I'm gonna go to object, path, offset path. And I'm gonna go with nine click OK. Now I'm going to draw the mountains real quick. So I'm going to go and select the pen tool and I'm going to start here and just do some freestyle mountains real quick. I also going to draw some snow on it that also would be the 3D reflection of the mountains. So I'm going to go and make it like this. I'm also going to start coloring some of these and what I'm going to do is select these snowy parts and I'm going to swap it from stroke to fill and select the color. I'm going to go with an orange-ish but I'm going to double click and switch it up to something really really light and I'm also going to swap the mountain from stroke to fill and I'm going to go with a brown. I'm also going to select this rectangle. I'm going to press the letter I or select the eyedropper tool and click on the mountains and I'm going to select the inner rectangle, select the eyedropper tool, copy paste the mountains colors and I'm going to press and hold shift, select both rectangles, right click, arrange, bring to front. So now it's 100% on the top. I'm going to select the exterior hexagon, select the eyedropper tool, do it again. And now I'm going to select the interior hexagon, swap it and change it to white. Now I'm going to need to create the background. So I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to make a sunset. So I'm going to start somewhere from here. I'm going to use the stroke only like that. Press and hold alt drag it up also press shift to isolate make sure they intersect press ctrl d ctrl d again i'm gonna select all of it and i'm gonna pull it all the way up swap it from stroke to fill and i'm gonna select the bottom rectangle let's change the colors to some orange and do the same thing with the rest i'm gonna select all the rectangles right click group i'm gonna press and hold alt to drag it down press and hold shift to rotate it upside down and i'm gonna position it here select both right click group press and hold control and press the left bracket a lot of times and check this out it is putting in the back put the texture behind this hexagon so i'm gonna press and hold shift also select this hexagon right click make clipping mask and last but least i'm going to select the type tool let's go here i'm going to type in the name and i'm going to search for gasoic font this is a free google font you can download select the eyedropper tool copy paste the brown color and i'm going to create a new copy scale it down i'm going to make a subtext double click rename and look how cute that looks so this was it thanks for watching